What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. So recently I made a video where I listed what I thought were the top 10 worst 2D sprites in the Pokemon games. And in that video I said that the newer gen games were not safe. So today I'm gonna list out what I think are the top 10 worst 3D versions of our favorite Pokemon. Now remember, just like the previous video, this is all just my opinion. It's okay if you have a different opinion and feel free to share that opinion down below in the comments because I wanna hear it. But if you're interested in seeing what my list is, then just keep on watching. And if you're new here, of course, hit that subscribe button because it helps you grow out and give this video a thumbs up if you are a Pokemon fan so that we can push it out into the YouTube algorithm so that more Pokemon fans can see it. And we can all talk about what we think are the worst 3D sprites down in the comments. And if you would like another way to support the channel so that I can keep pushing out fun content for you guys. Feel free to check out my merch store. I have all kinds of fun products on there like hoodies, hats, joggers, you name it. I got it all. I'm wearing one of my hoodies today. So if you're looking for some cozy loungewear for this fall and winter, feel free to check out the link down below in the description. And of course, all my other socials are listed down below as well so you can keep up to date with what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. But without further ado, let's hop into what I think are the top 10 worst 3D Pokemon. Bye. Bye. list, I did want to put out the disclaimer that there is actually a ton of lists already out there on the internet of what people think are the worst 3D models of Pokemon. And I must say that Marshtomp has made basically every single list, which I think is kind of funny, but I mean, Marshtomp was kind of ugly to start with. So for the sake of research, I took the time to actually go through every single one of the 3D models of all of the Pokemon that are currently available in the games. And I came up with my own list that might be a little bit different than ones that you've already seen. But with that being said, I'm going to start off this list easy. And at number 10, I have Sceptile. So Sceptile has been a fan favorite for quite some time and can you blame anybody? I mean his 2D artwork looks fantastic and in the anime he looks sick. But somewhere along the lines of going from 2D to 3D something was lost in translation. Because we went from having something that looked cool and edgy to this. Homeboy looks bored to be here. I feel like in the process of going from 2D to 3D he literally just lost all of his character and is now more just like a shape of what a Sceptile used to be. He just looks plain and expressionless. Like, where's the sass that he used to have? And don't even get me started on its tail. It doesn't even look like leaves at this point. It reminds me of those trees that are fake trees that they put when they're trying to hide like a telephone pole or whatever that you just look at and you're like, you know, it probably would have been better if you just didn't even try to hide it. That's what its tail is giving me in 3D. But maybe that's just me. At number nine, I have to go with Hippodon. Personally, I think that Hippodon has a really cool design and I really like that the female Hippodons are all black with red eyes. I just feel like it gives them a little bit of an edgier look, which is kind of uncommon for females female Pokemon since female Pokemon usually tend to look like girlier so I'm, I don't know. I just thought that was a cool touch. And I'm not saying that Hippodon is the prettiest Pokemon out there. I mean it's kind of ugly. I'm not gonna lie. But at least in 2D it's got character and it looks like it could probably put up a good fight. But for its 3D version we get this. Homie looks like he's gonna run out of breath in about 10 seconds. And it doesn't even look intimidating at this point. It just looks like a blob that's sitting there. It's giving Disney's Jungle Cruise animatronic. And considering that Hippodon is literally supposed to be based off of a hippo, and hippos in real life are some of the strongest and most aggressive animals in general, I would have liked to see some of that inspiration be translated into 3D. But instead, we just get this lazy looking thing. Coming in at number eight, I have to go with Perleon. Now, you know me, I am a sucker for a cute, Pokemon. And Perleon had a really cute 2D sprite. It's literally just a little purple cat sitting around chilling. And even though in the anime it doesn't exactly stay on four paws the entire time, of course it stands up and stands on two legs and it's got a little sass to it. But there's something about seeing it stand up in its 3D version that just doesn't sit right with me. I mean, this isn't even the first time that we've seen a cat stand up on two legs. Obviously Meowth has been standing on two legs from the get-go. But this thing, it's given more possessed than Perleon. I think that if they had stuck to its original design where it's sitting with all four paws on the ground, it would have translated better into a 3D model, but with it standing like this, I gotta go. I'm out. At number seven, I have to go with Nidoking. I remember seeing Nidoking for the first time ever in the anime when I was growing up as a kid and thinking, dang, that thing looks scary. I mean, he's this big buff, scary looking purple dinosaur that looked like it could take out an entire team of Pokemon on its own. But for its 3D model, we get Barney. Something about its proportions just seems so off that it literally makes him look almost weak. Like I know he's always had little arms, but for some reason these are giving twig. And why are his eyes like the size of peas? And why are they so far apart? The only thing this Nido King is destroying 
is a box of donuts. Cause he doesn't even look buff anymore. I just feel like there was so much potential for this 3D model. And instead we got something that was built like Barney. Coming in at number six, we have a newer gen Pokemon, Rillaboom. This one's a little bit backwards since obviously the gen eight Pokemon never had 2D sprites. But in the anime, Rillaboom looks sick. He's this big angsty drummer with really good leaf hair. But for whatever reason in the games, that hair, it ain't working. It's not doing him any favors. Maybe it's because like everyone said Sword and Shield was rushed, but he looks more of like a beta form of what he was supposed to look like than his actual final form. This whole 3D model just looks kind of sloppy and blocky and just not well done. It's almost like they did it backwards. They made him look bad in the games and they made up for it in the anime. At number five, I have to go with Haxorus. In his 2D artwork, Haxorus is probably one of the coolest Pokemon out there. I mean, just look at him. He's got giant blades in his mouth and he looks like he could be a super villain. But does any of that translate into 3D? No. This is giving me the same vibes as Nidoking did, where it just looks like an out of shape version of what he's supposed to be. Like it just looks soft. It doesn't have that same oomph to it. And instead of looking like an edgy super villain, he looks like he needs a cane. It pains me to say this, but at number four, I have to put Empoleon. Everybody knows how much I love Piplup. I'm not a fan of Prinplup, but I do think Empoleon has a really cool design. I mean, look at him. He's quite literally an emperor penguin. He's got a crown. His flippers are blades like swords. Overall, I think that this is actually a really clever design. But once again, does that translate to its 3D model? No, because instead of getting a literal emperor penguin, we get grumpy cat. Why his face look like that? Why he's so mad? Not only that, but I feel like this is a reoccurring theme with these 3D models, but where is like the edginess to the design? Everything just looks so soft and rounded and it takes away that sense of like edginess or power that they're supposed to have. I mean, homeboy's supposed to be an emperor penguin. He's literally a king, but this guy looks like he just got fired from his nine to five office job and now he's got to go home and tell his wife. Poor guy. We have now made it to the top three worst 3D models of Pokemon. And at number three, I have to go with Swellow. I know what you're thinking. How could you possibly mess up a bird? It's literally a bird, especially when it's got such a simple yet effective design. Well, let me present to you the most awkward floating bird that you've ever seen. As you're gonna see later on in this list, this is kind of a reoccurring theme for Pokemon that are supposed to look like they're flying in their 3D models, but obviously it just ends up looking really awkward because they're just hovering in place and you're just like, why? Why couldn't it just be standing on the ground? It would have looked so much cooler. I mean, just look at Swallow when he stands on the ground in his 2D art. It looks cool. But this, homie, where are you going? It reminds me of when birds try to fly against the wind on a really windy day and they just end up like stagnant and you're just like, poor bird and you just kind of stand there and feel bad for the bird. That's what this 3D model makes me think of. Like at the very least, they couldn't at least have it flap its wings. I feel like that would have been a little bit better than it just awkwardly hovering in place. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. Coming in at number two, I have to go with Salamance. Now listen, Salamance is one of the coolest looking pseudo legendaries. He's this big, scary salamander dragon and his mega form looks pretty cool too. But I feel like what I'm about to show you next is really gonna drive home that point that I made earlier about flying Pokemon looking really awkward in their 3D models. And for Salamance specifically, I wanted to show it in its mega form because I feel like it really just hits the nail on the head. So I present to you the 3D model of Mega Salamance. Or should I say, a flying horseshoe. You cannot tell me that is not the most awkward looking 3D sprite you've ever seen. I don't know why I couldn't find an HD version of this one, but even in its non-mega form, when it's got its legs out, it's still just floating there and it still just looks really awkward. Like just imagine how much better it would look if it just had its feet on the ground. Like he would look a lot stronger, a lot scarier. But no, instead they wanted to give us a flying horseshoe. Or in his non-mega form, he looks Looks like the drones you use to make those cool edits. Which I mean, maybe someone will think that's cool, but not me. And lastly, at the number one spot for the top 10 worst 3D models of Pokemon, we have Typhlosion. Cyndaquil, Quilava, and Typhlosion are some of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon, especially Typhlosion. I mean, just look at his design. He's literally like a fire hedgehog. I mean, is he a hedgehog? I don't know what he's supposed to be, but either way, I'm gonna go with that. But regardless, he looks cool. But when I tell you that they did this boy dirty in his 3D model, I'm just gonna leave it here for you to look at. I have a lot of things to say about this one. For starters, its hands creep me out. They definitely do not look like that when they draw this thing in 2D. And something about them is just like way too humanoid for me. It's giving like uncanny valley and it's just bleh. It gives me goosebumps. And look, I get it. Cyndaquil, Quilava, and Typhlosion are all supposed to be able to control their flames. They don't always have their flames out like Charmander or Charmeleon and Charizard's tails. But if they had just given it its fire quills, this version of Typhlosion 
explosion probably wouldn't have looked as weird and creepy. It also looks like he has to sneeze all the time, so there's that. But how are we gonna go from one of the coolest Gen 2 Pokemon to a weasel with creepy human hands that needs to sneeze? My boy, Typhlosion, deserves some justice. But that is going to be my list of the top 10 worst 3D models of Pokemon. Let me know if you agree with this list and let me know what other Pokemon you think should be added to a list like this down below in the comments because I wanna hear what you have to say. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you did wanna check out the merch store, there is a link down below in the description as well as all my other socials so you can keep up with all the fun stuff that I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.